Microsoft turned three trillion dollars. Microsoft as a company is now its net worth is more than three trillion dollars. The US economy is worth twenty six trillion dollars and Microsoft is three trillion dollars. Apple is another three trillion dollars. So Apple and Microsoft combined is the biggest part of US economy. But you know what is one thing which is common between both of them? They both are actively researching on AI, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the new buzzword. But it's not just a buzz. It's not a trend. It is the tradition of the industry. People are losing jobs because of AI and I'm going to be blunt about it. And who are those people? I'm going to tell you. And now the question is, will AI and ML replace biotech, pharma and chemistry researchers? The answer is, I'll be blunt, yes, a majority of them. And who will be those majority? Those who do not learn AI and ML. I'm not here to do fear mongering. I'm not here to scare you, but I'm going to tell you two stories. One is from a company. So one of my friend, he was my schoolmate. He started a, he, he qualified MBBS and he became a radiologist. And then he had a bent of mind towards technology. He started an AI company in radiology. And earlier, radiologists used to manually see the x-ray and say that, okay, this is the thing. But they have developed AI, wherein now they don't need radiologist. So now he can, or his AI can, scan the images and find out what's exactly the uh, particular disease or what exactly is happening with the organ and tell you upfront. Imagine so many radiologists, poof, over. The next story I'll tell you is about Genentech. So I uh, went live and I informed all of you about the one crore internship where they're paying one crore to an intern. Why would somebody pay one crore to an intern, boss? That There must be something they're doing great, right? And that is where I went and deep dived into the project which Zoo's lab is doing. And I found out that they are working on AIML. Okay, they're going to work on AIML and bioinformatics and they're going to deep dive into genes, genetics and find out using pictures, images from the microscope, analyze that and then come back with the report and they're developing that AI. That is why they're ready to pay one crore rupees to the internals. Imagine how much money can be made but only for those who learn AI ML. So the answer to this question is can AI and machine learning replace you? The answer is yes, if you are not learning AI and ML. Now, where you can learn, I'll come to that later, but yeah, definitely we have a solution for that. But for now, I'm here to tell you about three type of jobs, blue collar jobs, creative jobs, and specialized jobs. It was supposed that blue collar jobs will get replaced first, like, you know, um, cleaning the house or you know, washing clothes or ironing the clothes. These are blue collar jobs, you know, construction, blue collar jobs. That is what people thought <laughs> that AI will replace. But to your surprise, to my surprise, it's not the blue collar jobs. AI first replaced the creative jobs. Today, using a software, they can replace my background. Using a software, they can change my language. I'm speaking English, they can convert to Hindi, Chinese. It's all AI, it's all creative. Using software, they can change my voice to the voice of someone else. Imagine what AI can do, so creative jobs. But let's move on to the next one, specialized jobs. AI will not go first into the blue collar because there a lot of money cannot be made. AI will first go into the creative and then it'll go into specialized jobs. Your job as a researcher is specialized jobs. AI will replace you if you do not learn AI. And I'm being upfront about this. Companies want to save money and they're not bothered who does the job, okay? Whether a human does it or a machine does it, as long as it helps the company make money, they'll make it. I remember to write one article per day, we used to employ an employee who used to sit for nine hours and give me one article of 2000 words when we started Biotechnica. And we used to pay so many thousands of rupees. Today, I can churn out a 2000 words article 
in seconds using chat GPT. That is creative job. But imagine tomorrow if the same thing can be done in truck discovery. It can be done in microscopy. It can be done in wet lab. It can be done in dry lab. It can be done in bioinformatics. It, it is very much possible and it's happening already. You can see that companies, I give you two examples, radiologist, my friend, he has now an AI company wherein you just send the uh, photo of the X-ray and it tells the AI tells what exactly is wrong with that organ. And the second one I told you is Genentech, which is doing uh, research on microscopic images, which they will produce in front of the AI and the AI will tell, okay, what exactly they're seeing. The time is not far when you can be replaced. So now the question is, how can I learn AI? How can I learn machine learning? It all starts with Python. Okay, it all starts with Python and R. These are the two languages. And then it moves on to bioinformatics, AI, ML. All of this comes together. So what we did at Biotechnica and Rasainika that we have come up with an AI, ML, 14 days training program. It will start with basics. And this is a basics course, 14 days. And we also have an advanced course, which lasts for three months. So you can either go for the you know 14 days or you can go for the three months. The three months, we are also giving you the paper publication support. So you can do the project and then you can publish your paper also. And you can just see Genentech is giving one crore to an intern. Imagine how many, how much money can be made if you learn AI. So stop resisting AI. Start embracing AI. Otherwise, you and I can be replaced. Mark my words, 10 years from today, if you will watch this video, you will realize I was right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.